Hello everyone. Tonight, today, well tonight, we're having another night on board Days Off 2, but I'm under strict instructions that I'm not allowed to film Sheila. He's not going to film me. So yeah, I won't, I won't be filming her at all. No. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to have a, a night on board. We're at Mercury, where we normally come, and um, we're just going to go get something to eat now, and then later on we're going to just pop over to Yarda White, to the Folly, and um, have some dinner. And then we're going to come back before it gets dark. And then um, we're going to um, set up beds. And um, I'm not allowed to film Sheena while she's awake. And um, yeah, and then we're going to have a night of fun on board. Days <laughs> off too, aren't we? Anyway, hopefully it stays dry. The weather, I mean, I hope it should stay dry. <laughs> Hopefully it should stay dry, we won't get sort of rain on us. And um, yeah, stay tuned. So we're at the gaff rigger, having a spot of lunch. I've got to be very careful how I film this because I'm not allowed to get Sheila in, as I mentioned. So I've got to go get to there and then go up and then go oh, just as a head and then round like that. She is here. I promise you I'm not sitting by myself. Chance to be a fine thing. It's very nice here. I don't know if you've ever been here, but it's called Mercury Yacht Harbour. It's very nice. So we're gonna try and do a cheers <laughs> without getting Sheila in. Ready? Cheers. Good health. Dinner is served, or lunch is served, I should say. I've got my usual, it's got a burger. However, the burgers here are so nice. They really, really are. We had one a little while ago, and I went home dreaming about it. It was very, very nice. Mm, even, oh no, I can't. Even, um, even Sheila had one. She doesn't normally eat burgers. She normally goes for very expensive lobsters. Our humble abode for tonight. Here she is. Pontoon's a little bit wobbly. Be careful I don't fall in. Oh, sorry. Hello, Mr. Swan. I haven't got any food for you, I'm afraid. Huh. I haven't got any food. Whoa! He's trying to bite me. Oh. I don't need my boat. It's so aggressive. Yeah. Oh, I've never spoke to you now. See ya. So we're out of our berth and on our way to the Isle of Wight. It's, a, it's very rainy and wet. The sunshine from yesterday has well and truly gone. Hopefully, the weather, the sea state in Southampton water will be kind to us. Anyway, let's see how we go. Just coming into cows on a very grey, on a very grey July evening. Just over there you can see the Red Funnel Ferry. Just down there, if you look very carefully, you can see my wife, who uh, is refusing to be filmed. Yeah, we're just coming into Cowes, the River Medina. Sitting at just over 20 knots at the moment. I have to slow down because it's about to be a speed limit. It's 
Sea's not too bad, quite calm, just very grey. Pardon? It's not rough though, is it? You might wonder who that is talking. I'm, I'm not talking to myself. There is someone here. We've made it. We have made it to the Folly Inn on the uh, Isle of Wight. Days of two is moored up just over there. There she is, next moored up alongside Harbour Master's boat. Anyway, it stopped raining just for the minute. Oh, no, I can't get you in. Tide is well out. Hopefully, the service will be quite fast and we won't end up having to go back to the handball in the pitch black. Anyway, if we do, we do. We'll be okay. We'll deal with it. Cheers. What have we got? Can I, can I, can I film you? Pink mermaid gin and lemonade. And I've got a San Miguel. Nice. So dinner's arrived. I've gone for the salmon, prawn and roasted vegetables. So hopefully it should be very nice. Sheila's gone for the burger. And I've gone for the salmon. So yeah. So that's it. We're leaving the folly for our trip back to the Hamble. Should take about an hour. It's really nice actually. If you get a chance to come to the Folly Inn in Newport on the Isle of Wight, do it. It's very nice. It well, does it come up as cows? Yeah. Cows. But I think it's more kind of. It's on the Medina, and it's very, very nice. And it's under new management now. A lady called Victoria and her husband run it because before the service wasn't great, but now it's much, much better. The food's always been good, but the service left a little bit to be desired but anyway now it's much better and it's a very nice place Berths are a bit expensive how much did it cost us 15 pounds, 15 pounds to moor up just for well, how long an hour and a half well if you can get four hours yeah, that was awful, good job we didn't have to get the water taxi in because that is just horrendously expensive you could end up doing 30 odd quid if you've got a couple of you and then you moor up and then get the water taxi each way it can be very expensive but anyway we didn't have to do that because the berthing master put us alongside one of his boats on the jetty and then we could just walk straight in so anyway all worked out okay so we're just gonna get back on the boat now back on board days off two and then um, make our way back here she is. Anyway, I won't film now. I end up either falling in the water or dropping my phone in the water. So just about to leave the Medina. The weather has stopped raining, thankfully, but it is getting a little bit dark. So hopefully we'll be back on the handle before it gets too dark. But there is a full moon tonight, I think. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It should um, it should light the way. It should light up the way, so we can see where we're going. Anyway, it should take about 45 minutes to get back to handle. Okay, so in front of me, you can see my radar, and you can see my chart plot. So I use Navionics. You can see my night vision camera, which is very good. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it works very well. All these little red dots on the radar screen are objects that the radar's picking up and the little bit in the middle is me so I can see that we're clear of any obstacles and what I'm doing on the chart basically following that purple line which is the general idea so that's a bit like kind of sat nav on a boat on a car so now I'm just following that, that, that line trying to and on our way into the handball and you 
you can see it's 55 feet deep. We're doing 19.2 knots. And all is good. Just had a nice nightcap in the gaff rigger. Oh, here we are. Here was here is our room for the night. Try not to fall in off the pontoon. Oh. You mind your step. Oh, I won't film you. Right, I shall show you. Hold on. Our bed for the night. Hold on. It's a bit dark. Here we go. Oh, was a bit untidy. Whoops. It's all right, isn't it? Oh God, she won't look at me. Anyway, night night. So we're in bed. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bed. <laughs> Sheila's happy because I've removed the fishing rods. <laughs> You're such an idiot. It's nothing to interfere with her now. <laughs> Are you missing the fishing rods? <laughs> when I said that I'd taken the fishing rods out, <laughs> she looked at me with that kind of sorry face. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully we'll still be here in the morning. <laughs> Go Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Waking us up. Yeah, last time we got woken up by a Chinese man <laughs> trying to give us a Chinese takeaway. He obviously had the Wong boat. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway. <laughs> we shall see you in the morning. Night, night. Morning viewers. Oh, what a night. Don't you dare lie. Don't you dare lie. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're both... Martin was snoring so badly last night. I'm surprised you didn't get complaints from the neighbours. Because oh. he had slept with the porthole open. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently it's true. I should have videoed you. You videoed me enough. Apparently I made a slight snoring noise. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep. Oh, God. I don't know why when you took up all the beds and you were snoring like a trooper. Anyway, that's where we find ourselves. <laughs> oh. Don't you dare. It's half past ten. And it's time for breakfast. We are uh, bacon rolls this morning, that's what we're having, aren't we? Are we in the video or not? No. No, she's not. So yeah, I'm on breakfast duty. And I am hungry. So the idea is this, we're gonna do some breakfast and then we're gonna tidy up. We're both showered and ready to go. And then I'm gonna shoot down the river and I'm gonna try and do some bass fishing. I'm going to try and catch a bass for Sheila's mum's tea. 
I never catch any fish, so that's extremely <laughs> unlikely. But anyway, we shall give it a go. So breakfast rolls are ready. Sheila, what's the breakfast roll like? Mm -hmm. well, I couldn't hurt at all. Did anybody hear that? Me, I put a mouth in what would you score it? I'm going to go out of 10 this time to give us a little bit more range. Eight. Eight? Okay, she's so given me an eight out of 10. Here we are. I've got a bit of cheese in mine, a bit of butter, well, quite a lot of butter. Yeah, bacon rolls on board. Doesn't think, things don't get much better than that. Yummy. So we're having a go at a little bit of fishing. Nothing yet, but you never know. Sheila's actually got the rod in hand. Here comes a boat. Quite busy out here. But it's going to be some big waves coming, Sheila, so hang on. Don't throw my rod overboard. Hold on. Well, not that big. You caught any fish yet, Sheila? No, not yet. So disappointing. Oh, what, 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 what? Well, I, I didn't do it, did I? Another one coming now. We've tried and tried and tried, and I can't find any bass. I've got a little lure on, a little 40 gram metal lure. And I can't find anything. We had a go first of all, and I cast, and I just got a massive bird's nest. Luckily, Sheila managed to untangle it all. So we're having another go, but there's nothing here. So I think it's time to call it a day for fishing. Unfortunately, the mother-in-law doesn't get any dinner tonight. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching our video. Till next time. Oh, I never say this because I don't really think that I should ask people to, but if you like the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. See you next time.